Hello, I'm Elizabeth Goddard, a soul transformation therapist, soul plan reader, Reiki master teacher, and author of Finding Lily. Through my own healing journey, I know the damage emotional abuse causes, the effects it has on your life, on you physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, because I've been there. This was a game and I didn't have the rules. After an unhealthy relationship, I was the shell of my former self. I'd lost everything. I was broke and I was broken. I was stuck in a cycle of questioning and doubting myself. If only I had said, and if only I hadn't said, maybe if I'd done, maybe if I hadn't done, I thought this was all my fault. The very first part of my healing was dealing with the trauma bonding and realizing it really wouldn't have made any difference if I'd said or done anything differently. I believe the emotions that we feel attract trauma. We experience them over and over again until we remove them completely from our system. We need to get to the root cause, very much like a veruca. Any, t- any tiny part of that root that's left may lay dormant for years until it's triggered again. And the problem with a lot of methods is it only scratches the surface of a problem and acts more like a band-aid rather than a full solution. And this is how RAW was born. I created RAW from my desire to work in a way that was soulful, radiant and RAW and extremely effective. Every step I have taken over the last 20 years has brought me to this point, to be able to spot the hallmarks of abuse and transform grit into gold. Each new level of understanding has expanded my toolbox. At the heart of this program is a deep healing technique, identifying the root cause and removing it, and powerful, life-changing processes for healing. I have also integrated a soul plan reading into the coaching so that you understand why you're here, your talents, your challenges, and your soul's purpose. It's an amazing tool to help you understand what it was you were born to do. I'm so passionate about the work I do with clients. Seeing them gain clarity and inner healing is so magical. And seeing their faces change physically just after one session inspires me. As Christmas approaches, I wanted to record something that may help you get through this period and help you move on. The biggest disease on this planet is loneliness. We are meant to live in tribes. We may feel a need to step out and be alone from time to time, but that isn't the same feeling as as being lonely. Loneliness is a sadness because one has no friends or company. It's feelings of depression. And for me, it's not having a sole purpose. Have you ever been surrounded by people but felt really lonely? Having or finding your life purpose is the goal. And loneliness after a toxic relationship is so disempowering. There could be many reasons for this. You may have been so focused on protecting your relationship than protecting yourself. Maybe you abandoned yourself. You're constantly being told that you were the problem and you retreated inside to protect Perhaps you experience gaslighting and the loneliness is to do with trusting yourself and trusting others. This is so dangerous to the brain. This is the mind fuckery and crazy making. You have been told one thing, but the actions and words are different. Maybe you're isolated from friends and family. You have perhaps been manipulated with information and now you've been cut off from all human contact. Or could it be due to the triangulation that took place, making you feel jealous, questioning everything? Have you abandoned parts of yourself, not feeling whole? So the goal is for you to be your greatest companion, being able to be on your own, not fearful, Perhaps you wake up in the morning with the pain of the reality of what happened, not understanding, not liking yourself. Or could it be the pain of watching someone else step into your life, stepping into your fake future? Feeling that something is wrong with you, feeling that shame, feeling lonely that people don't understand what you have been through, they tell you to get on with it, to get over it. The feeling could be from trauma bonding that took place and the fear of not knowing how to function without them. The isolation of not knowing who you are anymore and the pain that emanates from your soul. You can barely function and you don't understand who you've become and if the real you is still inside. 
All the questions, what if and if only? What if you had said or done something differently? Or if only you hadn't said or hadn't done something? And the constant replaying of the relationship and asking why you can't get them out of your head. The loneliness of not having anyone to understand. If you told them the truth, they'd be shocked. You put on a mask, they saw a different picture of your relationship. They didn't understand what was going on inside. And that is why you're at this point. You saw the little red flags. You saw the mask drop. You saw their explosive personality and you chose not to speak of it, to protect your relationship. But this is the gift. This is where we turn the grit into gold. There's probably a childhood wound, a belief about yourself as being unloved or not good enough. There's likely to be an an abandonment wound. Perhaps you experience some form of abandonment from either a parent or caregiver. So there's various different ways we can do this. I want you to sit quietly and tune into your body. When you think about being lonely and what loneliness is for you, just scan your body and see where you're holding that. You may feel a tingling, you may feel a pain somewhere. This is an old memory. There may be a few of them that you're holding. And I want you to concentrate on the top of your head. And I want you to allow the universal golden light to enter into your body and dissolve the pain and remove the trauma. Allow the golden energy to enter into your crown, the top of your head. And as it's going through your body, it's calming and it's releasing. If you're experiencing loneliness from an abusive or traumatic relationship, it's likely that your skin might quiver So we're just going to allow that energy to calm. It's filling up your head and it's going into your throat and it's coming down into your shoulders. If there are any patches of dark areas, it's just going to remove them and release them. And as it goes into your shoulders, it's going down your arms, through your elbows, to your wrists and into your palms and it's releasing through your palms and then it's coming down through your chest through your lungs through your heart it's just releasing the tension the trauma as it goes in through your stomach your liver, where we hold anger, all the organs in the middle area. It washes down in waves through to your hips, into your buttocks. Sometimes we clench these when we're in fear and just releasing through your hips, down your legs, through your knees, down into your ankles and into your feet. And it's just washing through in waves, cleaning, clearing, releasing. And it's going out into the universe through your feet. Allow the energy to flow through you in waves. And I'm going to leave the music playing for you. When you're ready, 
and you feel that all the trauma has been removed or you're feeling calmer and you can open your eyes with your fingers and your toes and come back to the space that you're in today. Take your time, take as much time as you need and repeat the process if you need to.